welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom, and this is going to be my pickup for the month of March 2024. And uh, the first thing is a little bit of hardware. Uh, this here. Now, in fairness, I actually got this in uh, February, but I forgot to kind of put it in the re in the uh, update. And I, as you can see, I haven't even opened it yet. So yeah, I've got a new TV, uh, 50 inch um, LG. Uh, 4K TV, which I've only had a standard TV before. I still haven't got a 4K player, but at least now I have a 4K TV. But I still haven't got it out of the box, so it might take me a bit of time to get that, that, that set up. Anyway, let's have a look at the media. Right, so let's have a look at the actual kind of Blu-rays and DVDs that I got uh, this month. Uh, firstly, now there's a movie that I've quite liked for a while, a shark movie called... Uh, Spring Break Shark Attack, but it's difficult to find on physical media. Uh, and I actually found out it was released just as called Shark Attack. So I bought what I thought it was, uh, but this isn't it. This is an, actually a movie called Shark Frenzy, another shark film which I have reviewed that was released as Shark Attack. And there was actually a Casper Van Dien movie as well, also called Shark Attack. This is not that either. So... Shark Frenzy, a.k.a. Shark Attack, I now have on DVD. But I did manage to pick up uh, the correct movies. This is also called Shark Attack, but originally this was called Spring Break Shark Attack. Now, uh, I reviewed this a, a while ago, and I've got to say, I quite like this movie. This is actually a surprisingly decent uh, shark movie uh, that I kind of wanted to pick up on, uh, on physical media. But I didn't know until recently it had it was released just under this title in the UK. So there you go. Uh, next up, I picked up the Evil Inside, uh, which is also known as the Dead Inside. Now I got this because the director uh, Perry Reginald Teo um, passed away uh, last year, and I've kind of wanted to kind of watch the rest of his films. I've quite enjoyed his a lot of his stuff and. Uh, this is one of the movies I hadn't seen, so I wanted to pick it up. Sadly, it wasn't very good. There is a review of this one on the channel at this point, or it will be seen if not, not already up there. But yeah, a little bit disappointing, this one, I have to say. Uh, I picked up a kind of a bundle of um, movies, a small bundle, of the uh, these kind of cheaper kaiju movies from uh, SRS Cinema. Kind of a pretty cheap, to be honest. Less than 20 quid for a, a bunch of movies. Uh, this one is the only one I've watched so far. Uh, Raiga, the God of Monsters. Uh, this is what it's known as here, but it was actually um, originally released as Raiga, um, the sea monster from the deep, I think it is, or the deep sea. Uh, it wasn't very good, to be honest with you. Yeah, effectively a Godzilla clone. Uh, along that... So a bundle. I also got Rai Go, uh, which I haven't actually watched yet. This is actually uh, this one is set in the same universe as uh, Rai Go, but it's actually set before this one's set in I think the World War II, um, and it's kind of like a giant sort of like lizard, like Pluridon kind of like style monster uh, that kind of fights like a Japanese warship. Uh, so moving on to some Blu-rays, uh, first up we have uh, Metal Storm, The Destruction of Jared Sin. Um, and this is kind of one of these kind of silly uh, sort of Mad Max kind of style uh, sort of science fiction movies. Um, it, I have got to review this one, so I had some on VHS and it's kind of fun. Uh, it's not one of the kind of the more classic ones. Similar to Space Hunter, if you've kind of seen this, it has a sort of western sort of feel to it. Uh, but it's, it's it's pretty good. You've got some kind of fun bad guys in it, and you've got the same guy. He's playing the kind of the protagonist here. This was in Rage War or Dungeon Master, and uh, I quite liked him in that. So uh, again, I've got this is from the SRS pack. I've got a couple of Blu-rays from it. God Riger vs uh, versus King Uga. Um, again, I haven't watched this one. I've only watched the one so far. It's a continuation, obviously. This is the more recent version of this um, one, so I would expect this to be a little better in regards to kind of VFX. I think the kind of this was made ten years or so after Riga. 
Um, and we'll check it. I'll check it out at some at some point in the future and pop a review up. Uh, next up we have Bunker of the Dead. And this is a movie that I had reviewed uh, quite a while ago now. And um, it's kind of like a found footage movie um, about this kind of guy that goes in this kind of like Nazi bunker and there's all these uh, Nazi zombies. It's more kind of POV, strictly speaking, than uh, than found footage, but it's it's quite actually quite a fun movie. Um, if you like kind of high octane kind of um, action horror in this in the kind of the realm of kind of like hardcore and things like that, but with Nazi zombies, you could do a lot worse with this one. There is a review of this one that I did some time ago. Uh, Nazula. Um, again, this is one of these kind of kaiju movies that I picked up in, in that kind of bundle of, uh, of uh, kind of films. There's one still left to go after this as well. And again, I haven't, haven't had a chance to watch this one yet. Uh, I'm not sure this one is actually set in the same universe. I think it's might be a completely separate one. Uh, but yeah, so it looks like a kind of old school style kind of um, Godzilla movie, obviously. 1964, so there you go. Uh, next up we have Underground, and this is a movie that I have reviewed on the channel, and it's kind of like uh, The Descent, similar in the, in the movie to The Descent, um, with these kind of sub subcranian creatures, very much looking like the creatures from The Descent, and a group of kind of partygoers that kind of get trapped in this underground base. It's actually pretty good, um, to be fair. It's, it's, it's surprisingly, um, you know, quite a visceral movie. Not as good as The Descent, but to be fair, it's probably as good as The, the Descent 2. Uh, next up we have Camel Spiders, which is a Roger Corman uh, low-budget uh, kind of killer spider movie directed by uh, Jim Winiski. Um, which I think this was a sci-fi movie, a uh, TV movie originally. Um, it's not very good, starring Brian Krauss. Uh, but yeah, it's um, not particularly strong. It has to be. It has to be said. Uh, and then the last of my kind of kaiju SRS cinema bundle was the Great Buddha Arrival, and this one looks interesting because uh, the kaiju in this one is a huge Buddha sat statue sort of thing. So that one sounds pretty interesting. A little bit kind of different to your. You know, garden variety kaiju, and you know, I'm, I'm curious. This is probably the next one I'll watch. Actually, um, I'm curious to see how they kind of deal with this because I would imagine the reception would be somewhat different with that sort of style of uh, a kind of kaiju there. So that'd be fun to watch. Uh, next up, we got Avengement, uh, which is a Scott Atkins movie, and this is a metal pack for it. Um, Avengement was one of the kind of the, the better Scott Adkins movies that I have watched in recent years, certainly where he has been the, the main character. And um, I happened to see this. Um, uh, it's limited to a thousand uh, copies. And, you know, I thought I'd pick it up because I do, I did actually want to get this movie. I was going to get a media book for it, but uh, I saw this and I thought, oh, do you know what, I'll, get, I'll pick that up. Um, but yeah, it's. I personally, for one, Scott Adkins one of one of his best movies. So uh, I I I do have a few Marvel things uh, this month. Obviously, the Marvel Cinematic Universe is going through a bit of a rough patch at the moment. Um, I have to say a thank you to Alan Scalser for this one because uh, I got this from Amazon and I actually won a fifty pound gift card from his. Uh, his channel, and uh, I used to pre-order this, and it's taken ages to come, and it, they lost it in the post originally, so I had to reorder it, so it was a real big hassle, uh, but eventually it's turned up, so this was the first of the Disney Plus series to kind of come out on the Disney Plus channel, and I think it's one of the strongest ones, certainly has the kind of the most unique concepts, um, these kind of going through the kind of sitcoms from the kind of the different areas and stuff. I actually quite like this. I think it's quite clever. And that brings us on to Loki. Now, I wasn't actually a big fan of this one. And I wasn't, I didn't want to pay full price for it, to be honest. Uh, so I waited and I ended up picking up this American version 
which has just got the Blu-rays rather than the 4Ks, like the, like the English versions. And I got this for like £20, uh, and that's kind of all I was really happy to pay for it, because, you know, this, I'm getting this because I'm a kind of Marvel completionist, really, not because I particularly like this series. Um, so anything I'm not too fussed about, I probably won't buy new. I'll wait until it either, either get it for cheaper second-hand or it's reduced or something like that. This is actually sealed, it's just the American version. And the same can be said for uh, Ant-Man Quantum Mania. Again, I waited. I didn't like the movie, really, um, when it kind of came out. So I waited and got the still book when it came out secondhand. Got it for cheaper. This one was originally out in HMV. So it's not as plentiful as Zavi, uh, to be honest. So it wasn't as easy. There wasn't so many of them. But I still managed to get it for kind of around the, sort of the £20 mark. And... I'm kind of happy paying for that, just to obviously, again, to be the completionist that I am in regards to that. Uh, next up, uh, we have the Manta Labs, or a Manta Labs version of uh, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Now, I had actually got a copy of, of this, but with a different a cover, like a cartoon cover. And that was going to be it. But someone was selling this on a Facebook group for a like, crazy cheap price. So I thought it would be, it'd be rude not to. Uh, so it's limited to um, 1,250. And is kind of a double lenticular version. Uh, so yeah, it was kind of like, well, do you know what? I, I've got the, the kind of this release, but I don't have that particular kind of version of it. It was cheap, so I got it. Uh, next up, uh, we have another Marvel one. This is the Wolverine from Black Barons. Now, this Black Barons is a kind of a spin-off of Film Arena. And these go for quite a lot of money. But to be honest with you, I didn't want to pay that much for, for it. Because even though it's it looks quite nice, the actual steelbook itself is just a standard steelbook with, with, with a nice slipcase. So I didn't want to pay a lot of money for it. Um, but I still wanted to get it at some point. So I've waited. I've been patient. Waiting for a moment where I could get this for uh, not crazy money. And it's limited to uh, 400. And finally, I found one. Um, I think it was from like Sweden or somewhere. Uh, and this person was selling it for... A pretty good price, uh, so I finally pulled the trigger on it. So I think this is the only Black Baron's Marvel one you can get. And I'm kind of glad I've uh, got this off the kind of the, the list now. The other film arena ones that are from the X-Men, I just won't pay a lot of money for them because, again, they just use the same steelbook, which was the standard release. It's not like you're getting uh, a kind of a different artwork on the steelbook, so... I will wait until I see them for cheap. And they'll come up eventually. Speaking of cheap, however, I got this um, black label version of Tenebrae. And the, the, I nearly got uh, uh, Phenomena as well. Uh, but I missed out on that one. But I did get Tenebrae. And uh, this is the black label. Uh, their first one. You know, so it's, mine's uh, uh, numbered 73. And there's a kind of a, you know, premium release with a kind of a slipcase and stuff. Um, so, yeah, Dario Gento movie, one of his kind of classics, kind of a giallo one. Uh, I like the kind of design here. It's kind of like somewhat kind of artistic uh, design. And it's, it's open, but they've got the kind of the, uh, the little label and everything. So, again, it was relatively cheap, so uh, it was silly not to. So that is the collection update for... Um, March. There is actually a couple on order still, but I suspect they won't be here until April because of the Easter Bank holiday. So I filmed this kind of on the 22nd, but I don't think I'll actually receive anything else until April now. Anyway, that was my uh, collection update. So a relatively big collection update for me uh, for a change, uh, for at least for a month. Um, anyway, what did you think? Any kind of those releases tickle your fancy? Please do let me know and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.